Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy New Year, coming at you with 2020 Panini Impeccable Football. Three box picker team number 21. Thanks to all of these lovely people here for getting into the action. Got Jimmy Brandt with, I think, double last spot mojo with the Lions and the Seahawks. Cat and Bird team mojo at the end. And we had a little number block randomizer, which is in a separate video. Did I upload that video? Standby. Yes, I did. So if you're looking for that, it is uploaded right now. And let's see what we got in this bad boy right here. Quick little three box break. We'll take us to the top of the hour. And then Sean Jaspi will take over. And he'll, he'll break for at least a few hours. But he'll go, he'll go for five, seven, eight hours if things keep filling. So keep filling it up, folks. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Oh, there's Charles Woodson. We were just talking about him. Hall of Fame finalist and first year of eligibility. Yeah. First battle Hall of Fame pretty easily. The proudest thing you've done? Super Bowl championship with the Packers. Yeah, that was a good moment. And then maybe also how you can rock an ascot without losing an ounce of masculinity. That, I mean, that, there's that too. There's a true lock uh, for Kurt Disser and the Broncos. There's David Montgomery to 75 for the Bears. Bears are a number block team, so that'll be uh, Bears 2. Chicago 2 will be Steve Birch. We've got... Damian Williams, elegance, two color patch and autograph to 25. It's a good question, Rebel. So the hall, so on hall, the Hall of Fame vote, can everyone get in the Hall of Fame or a set number of players? I feel like the Hall of Fame is pretty like an NFL Hall of Fame is pretty stingy on how many players get in for some reason. I actually don't know how that works. Uh, Chiefs, I go with that one with the Kansas City Chiefs. No, Ian saying that that Woodson's fashion is too strong for TV. It's not like he's wearing like Cam Newton outfits. There's Dalton Keene, seventy-two out of seventy-five. He does look like a, a gentleman from like Victorian England, though. There's Dalton Keene to seventy-five for the Pats. That's going to be for Karen and her Patriots. There's Frank Clark, 23 out of 25, indelible ink for the Chiefs. Another one for Igor. He does outdress everyone around. That's that's for sure. I wish I could pull off an ascot. Not too many, not too many people can. I feel like. There's Dalvin Cook, 58 out of 75. Nice Dalvin Cook. He just needs to stay healthy, but he had some pretty incredible games. Dan with the Vikings. He can play. 16 full games. Imagine if he, he could be as healthy as like Derrick Henry. He'd be putting up some nice numbers too. And for the Jets, LaMichael P. Ryan. Nice dual relic. Is that a piece of the helmet? It looks upside down. Helmet sticker maybe? 15 out of 35. That'll be for the J-E-T-S Jets, Jets, Jets. Nick Esposito. All right, next box. That's the case hit, by the way. We're going to do that last. I did not. Oh, I did see a DeAndre Baker's injury. They, 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 took, they actually had to drive a mini ambulance in there. Two, Ooh, that looked brutal. 
We got Mark Ingram to 50. Patrick with the Ravens. Trend Center. What's going on? Happy New Year, Aaron. And Kyle and everybody else. We got George Kittle to 75. Niners. Ben with the Niners. How good did the Niners play? Without half the squad, it seemed like, at various parts of the year. If that Niners team was healthy, if they have a decent quarterback. We got a blockchain a redemption card. Tua Tungvaluwa. That redemption goes to Miami. Uh, Miami is a redemption team. A number block team. Jared. Jared Brinkner with that one. Now, however you feel about these blockchain cards, these digital-only blockchain cards, um, if it's a big name like Tua, I think they actually go for a decent amount of money. All right, there is Lawyer Malloy. 68 out of 75. Have the, have the Patriots... Have had have they had the most lawyers on their team in recent in recent memory? Lawyer Malloy, Ty Law, Ben Jarvis Green Ellis, the law firm. We've got Lance Briggs, forty five out of seventy five. Bears Bears are a number block team. Bears five is going to be for David Alsop. Ooh, nice, Daniel. We can add that to the schedule a little bit later tonight. We've got Jonathan Hightower, the fourth. J-H-I-V, 79 out of 99 for the Fly Eagles. Fly Blake with the Eagles. Kings, you don't want the blockchain card? I don't think, the good news is I don't think it replaces a card in here. So you're getting the full slate of cards. The blockchain is just an extra. I think. There's Jerry Judy, three color patch and autograph for my rivals, the Broncos, 65 out of 75. Denver, Kurt Disser. There you go, Kurt. Jerry Judy shakes the dropsies. He's going to be really good, too. The redemption is Clyde Edwards Elaire. Chiefs. That's going to be for Igor and KC. I think I'd have a bigger complaint about those blockchain cards if it actually replaced a card in the in this box. No, yeah, I mean I think I like that I like that they're trying something new, you know? So they're not being stagnant about the way they see the hobby, but I think it'll take a while before stuff like that is going to really catch. You know, There's Antonio Gandy Golden, 10 out of 75. Piece of the helmet, it looks like. And a three-color patch. That's a good-looking card for the Washington football team, Alacosta. But yeah, I think, I think majority of the people still want the tangible card. But there's there's been a bit of a small footprint you know, a foothold that the blockchain cards are getting. Now, if those blockchain cards actually turn into real cards, then I think, think, I think people would feel differently about that. But maybe that's that's those blockchains are the first step towards that. I don't know. I have no idea what the long-term plans are, but that's the holy grail, right? Trying to blend the digital world with this tangible world. Last box in the case hit. Good luck. There's Miles Sanders to 50. I think he was one of the guys, among others, not happy with the way that Eagles game ended. 
Super Bowl champ with the Patriots. He won't advance beyond decade 10. Baker Mayfield to 50. Cleveland Browns. That'll be for Daniel Anderson. Browns, no Kevin Stefanski. How's Baker going to do without his head coach? Who I think is a candidate for coach of the year. He's got to be one of the... You know, he's got to be up there. He's got to be amongst the top three, five quarter uh, head coaches to win coach of the year. But now they don't have him this week, and that's going to be tough. Is Jared Goff? What's Sean McVay going to do without Goff and his thumb? Did you see that? His thumb was pointing this way. And then he popped it back in. And then the day after he got surgery, he got pins put in his thumb. And now they're hoping he's going to be ready for Saturday? Saturday? Is there a picture of his his thumb? I don't know where the... Where, doesn't say where the pins are. I don't know where they put the pin. I'm trying to figure out where, where they put the pin. I don't know where they put the pin. It's either him or John Wolford. Uh, Rams, that'll be... Oh, that's a number block team. So Rams 4 will get that one. Los Angeles Rams 4 is JMS. We got the long arm of the law. Lawyer Malloy, 14 out of 75... I guess those topplers want to hit the bell. That goes to Karen and her Patriots. That's true. He, is, he does live pretty close to us down the street. Maybe we should go over. Should I send him a care package? Maybe some Icy Hot? Here's KJ Hamler, 23 out of uh, 25. That goes to Denver. That'll be for Kurt and the Broncos. You got Steve Largent. Speaking of Hall of Famers, they're doing a Hall of Fame finalist thing here. Zach Thomas a Hall of Famer? He's in his eighth year of eligibility. Two out of twenty five, Steve Largent. I think when he entered the Hall of Fame, I think he had he held a lot of the passing records. Big passing words. There's James Harrison. Nice. 14 out of 15. Steelers. JMS. JMS is a Steelers guy. There's Super Bowl champion James Harrison. He's pretty good. There you go. Nice. And the last one here is C.D. Lamb. 42 out of 75. Looks like a piece of the helmet and his jersey. Cowboys. JMS also has the boys. Strong finish, Joe. Nice. All right, and the case. Should Calvin Johnson be inducted? What, what ballot is this? for? Is this his first ballot? I feel like there's a wide receiver backlog, isn't there? Like, There's like a bunch of other guys that probably should get in. I think eventually he will be, but I don't know if any I don't know if anytime soon. All right. There is Brandon Ayuk. Nice Troy ounce, fine, fine silver in the NFL shield right there. 13 out of 20. Uh, that goes to Ben Hoda with the San Francisco 49ers. And there you go, boys and girls. That's uh, 2020 Impeccable Football. Three box. Pick your team number 21. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.